Yashar, Jasher 45. And it was at that time in that year, which is the year of Yosef's going down to Mitzrayim after his brothers had sold him, that Reuven, the son of Yaakov, went to Timnah and took unto him for a woman Eliyoram, the daughter of Avi, the Cana'ani, and he came to her. And Eliyaram, the woman of Reuven, conceived and bore him Hanak, Palu, Chet Zran, and Carmi, four sons. And Shimon, his brother, took his sister Dina for a woman. And she bore unto him Yemuel, Yamin, Ohad, Yakin, and Sohar, five sons. And he afterward came to Buna, the Canaani woman. The same is Buna, whom Shimon took captive from the city of Shechem. And Buna was before Dina and attended upon her. And Shimon came to her, and she bore unto him Sha'al. And Yahuda went at that time to Adalam, and he came to a man of Adalam, and his name was Kirra. And Yahuda saw there the daughter of a man from Canaan, and her name was Aliat, the daughter of Shua. And he took her and came to her, and Aliat bore unto Yahuda Er Onan and Shiloh, three sons. And Levi and Yishakar went to the land of the east, and they took unto themselves for women the daughters of Yovav, the son of Yachtan, the son of Iber. And Yovav, the son of Yachtan, had two daughters. The name of the elder was Adina. And the name of the younger was Arida. And Levi took Adina, and Yishakar took Arida. And they came to the land of Canaan, to their father's house. And Adina bore unto Levi Gershon, Kohat, and Merari, three sons. And Arida bore unto Yishakar, Tola, Pua, Yov, and Shimran, four sons. And Dan went to the land of Moab, and took for a woman Aflalat, the daughter of Chamudan, the Moavi. And he brought her to the land of Canaan. And Aflatheth was barren. She had no offspring. And Elohim afterward remembered Aflatheth, the woman of Dan. And she conceived and bore a son. And she called his name Chushim. And Gad and Naphtali went to Haran and took from thence the daughters of Amuran, the son of Uts the son of Nehor, for women. And these are the names of the daughters of Amuram. The name of the elder was Meriamma. Rather, Merima. And the name of the younger, Uzit. And Naphtali took Merima. And Gad took Uzit. And brought them to the land of Canaan. To their father's house. And Mary Ma bore unto Naphtali Yatziel, Guni, Yester, and Shilem, four sons. And Uzit bore unto Gad, Siphonian, Shagi, Shuni, 
Itzban, Eri, Avardi, and Areli, seven sons. And Asher went forth and took Adan, the daughter of Aflal, the son of Hadad, the son of Yishmael, for a woman, and he brought her to the land of Canaan. And Adan, the woman of Asher, died in those days. She had no offspring. And it was after the death of Adan that Asher went to the other side of the river and took for a woman Hadura, the daughter of Amimel, the son of Iber, the son of Shem. And the young woman was of a comely appearance and a woman of sense. And she had been the woman of Malkiel, the son of Elam, the son of Shem. And Hadura bore a daughter unto Malkiel, and he called her name Sarach. And Malkiel died after this, and Hadura went and remained in her father's house. And after the death of the woman of Asher, he went and took Hadura for a woman, and brought her to the land of Canaan, and Sarach, her daughter, he also brought with them, and she was three years old, and the damsel was brought up in Yaakov's house. And the damsel was of a comely appearance, and she went in the sanctified ways of the children of Yaakov. She lacked nothing, and Yahuwah gave her wisdom and understanding. And Hadura, the woman of Asher, conceived and bore unto him Yimna, Yishva, Yishvi, and Beria, four sons. And Zevalun went to Midian and took for a woman Merisha, the daughter of Molad, the son of Avida, the son of Midian and brought her to the land of Canaan. And Murusha bore unto Zevalon, Chered, Ilan, and Yachleel, three sons. And Yaakov sent to Aram, the son of Sova, the son of Tarach, and he took for his son, Binyamin, Mechaliah, the daughter of Aram, and she came to the land of Canaan, to the house of Yaakov. And Binyamin was ten years old when he took Mechaliah, the daughter of Aram, for a woman. And Mechaliah conceived and bore unto Binyamin Bila, Beker, Ashbel, Gera, and Naaman, five sons. And Binyamin went afterward and took for a woman Aribat, the daughter of Shimran, the son of Avraham, in addition to his first woman. And he was 18 years old. And Aribat bore unto Binyamin Echi, Roshish, rather Roosh, Mapim, Chupim, and Arda, Ar, rather, and Arda, five sons. And in those days, Yahuda went to the house of Shem and took Tamar, the daughter of Elam, the son of Shem. For a woman for his firstborn, Er. And Er came to his woman Tamar, and she became his woman. And when he came to her, he outwardly destroyed his seed, and his work was evil in the sight of Yahuwah, and Yahuwah slew him. And it was after the death of Er, Yahudah's firstborn, 
Then Yahuda said unto Onan, Go to your brother's woman and marry her as the next of kin, and raise up seed to your brother. And Onan took Tamar for a woman, and he came to her. And Onan also did like unto the work of his brother. And as his work was evil in the sight of Yahuwah, and he slew him also. And when Onan died, Yahuda said unto Tamar, Remain in your father's house until my son Shiloh shall have grown up. And Yahuda did no more delight in Tamar to give her unto Shiloh. For he said, Perchance he will also die like his brothers. And Tamar rose up and went and remained in her father's house. And Tamar was in her father's house for some time. And at the revolution of the year, Aliyat, the woman of Yahuda, died, and Yahuda was comforted for his woman. And after the death of Aliyat, Yahuda went up with his friend Chira to Timnah to shear their sheep. And Tamar heard that Yahuda had gone up to Timnah to shear the sheep, and that Shiloh was grown up, and Yahuda did not delight in her. And Tamar rose up and put off the garments of her widowhood, and she put a veil upon her, and she entirely covered herself, and she went and sat in the public thoroughfare, which is upon the road to Timnah. And Yahuda passed and saw her and took her, and he came to her, and she conceived by him. And at the time of being delivered, behold, there were twins in her womb, and he called the name of the first Peretz, and the name of the second Zerach.